Version 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Boy, a good chunk of the U.S. has some sort of winter weather alert. These are winter storm warnings over most of the West and most of the northern U.S. with freeze warnings in California, frost advisories for parts of the Los Angeles area. Now, these are from a system that will bring us mainly rain. But this area down here, these blues, those are winter storm watches. And it's that system that may bring us snow by Friday. And then we could have another round once we get into Sunday. Here's the pattern. The cold air is dumping in from the north. The subtropical jet's very energized. And in between the two, embedded in that polar jet, there are several storms. This is the one that will affect us tomorrow. This is the one Friday with snow, and that's the one on Sunday with snow as well. Now, right now, we've got some fog developing. Temperatures on the rise. 52 Lafayette, Cropperville, 52 Covington. 50 at Rochester and through the evening temps will be on the rise. So the visibility coming down 57 by around midnight or one. We stay in the 50s all night and we'll be up to 58 by 11 a.m. tomorrow. So dense fog. That's the key word tonight and into tomorrow morning. Showers developing though, especially tomorrow, maybe an isolated storm. Then snow Friday and Sunday. It'll be accumulating snow with a cold pattern settling in. Tomorrow, 55 to about 63. 63 Atlanta, 59 Lafayette, 55 Morocco. And it cools off in a big way by Thursday. 33 Morocco, 37 Lafayette, 40 Thorntown. But I think temperatures will start to fall during the day. Most areas will be at or below freezing by late afternoon and evening. A few spotty showers and some drizzle this evening and into the overnight with the fog around. And the showers start to increase. And while we'll showers around tomorrow, just ahead of the front and along the front. This is by afternoon, right? There's the cold front. That'll be the greatest concentration of rainfall. And there may be an isolated thunderstorm or two with that front. And the front goes through. It's mostly cloudy for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. And even early on Thursday morning, it's mostly cloudy. But by Thursday late afternoon evening, this is a little sleep, a little snow, perhaps a little very light freezing rain mainly in the southern half of the viewing area. That looks pretty live, but it still may create a couple slick spots. And then the main area of snow comes in on Friday as this system moves to the northeast. Looks like about a one to two inch snow for us. Heavier totals to the southwest where the winter storm watches are lining up. And then snow for Sunday with the Arctic air in place. And with that storm track, another one to two inch snow with the heavier totals just south of the viewing area. Seven day forecast, 21 Saturday, after the snow Friday, then snow on Sunday, 25 for the high, and it stays cold. Monday, Tuesday, next week, highs only in the middle 20s. So after 59 tomorrow, we are going to go in the depths of winter for a long time. This cold weather could hang on well into mid-December. Well, it'll look seasonal for the parade then. It sure Sunday will. Moment. Okay, right. Chad, thanks. Thanks, Chad. Up next, it's been one day since an improved healthcare.gov relaunched on.